Hi, I'm Ryan Shields with Century 21 Westman.com. I just wanted to take a second today and talk to you about writing the best possible offer for you to get your new house. I know everybody wants to get the best deal. Everybody wants to, to save a few thousand dollars when purchasing a new house, but there are a few key tips that I can give you to make sure we can get you the best price of what the market value is. Um, the first tip is don't start the negotiation off on the wrong foot by starting too low. You don't want to insult the seller with, with a really low offer just to kind of to throw your, your fishing line in the water and see if you can get a bite on it. It's not really going to work that way. Um, there's not too many sellers in, in today's market that um, have priced their house too far off of what they're looking for. So if we start out 10-15% um, below what their list price is, we could be really having a, a tough road to hold ahead. The second is um, there, there's a lot of possibility for us to go back and forth. So once we start the offer and then they give us a counter offer, you, that's not the final offer. We can go back and forth and play the game a little bit, but again, it all depends on where the numbers are and how, how far apart, how big of a gap we need to close. Um, historically in Brandon for, for 2013, houses sold at 97.5% of list price. So that's a good baseline where to start at is we know that the list to selling ratio is very similar. So just my only main tip is don't start the negotiation too low because we could be in for a long battle and you might not be happy with the end. If you have any specific questions about how to negotiate the deal or what market value is, please feel free to give me a call, Ryan Shields at Century21Westman.com.